The more that you read, the more you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you will go. Education, a part of life that one can never forget. A part of life which guides us and takes us towards the right path. Hello everyone, I am Avni of 8th grade of Silicon City Academy of Secondary Education and today I will be talking about Indian education and how it has evolved. Education is something that has been in India since the ancient times. India is known for its education system that is the Gurukul system. Vedas and Upanishads mention this system in their sources. These sources date back to 1000 to 800 BCE, which only shows us how much importance has been given to learning in India. Every ruler had to be proficient in various subjects like Sanskrit, warfare and administration. These subjects are still relevant in our life and India still offers opportunities related to these subjects. In the olden days, students and gurus lived ate and worked together. There were no divisions between classes and there was no syllabus. Everyone was taught based on their own capability to learn. Classes were held under trees with no chairs or desks. Every lesson was taught by mouth and there were no textbooks. This method of teaching was used for a thousand of years. Later, the British came and changed the education method. Thomas Macaulay brought English education to India in 1835. This led to what education or schooling is now in the 21st century. We have different grades, divisions between classes and a textbook for every subject we learn with a defined syllabus. Though this Indian education system changed, many people helped reform it. Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, a social reformer, set up a girls school in Calcutta in 1847. This was one of the first actions that promoted the education of girls. And now due to such actions, lakhs of girls are educated and bleed in many fields. This gesture allowed women to learn, earn a living on their own and work in various fields such as medicine, engineering and teaching. Innumerable women took up teaching as their profession and dedicated their lives to teaching. Talking about teaching, educators play a crucial role in all our lives. From Guru Dronacharya in Mahabharata to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, everyone has had one teacher that changed their perspective on life. There have been such Indian teachers who have made a huge impact in the field of education and in the lives of thousands of students. People like Rabindranath Tagore, Savitri Bhai Phule, Dr. Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan played an important role in making the education system of India what it is today. Nisim Ezekiel, a poet from Maharashtra, was a teacher and his works are some of the most important literary texts. Even Dr. Manmohan Singh, the 13th Prime Minister of India, was once a teacher. While India is the birthplace of so many inspiring teachers, it is also the birthplace of great texts, literature, sciences, medicine and mathematics. Many concepts of mathematics that are vital to the subject were founded in India. The decimal number system, the number zero, arithmetic, negative numbers are some examples. In the fields of sciences and medicine, Ayurveda used widely in the world, surgery a prominent part of medicine and yoga originate in India. Ancient books of India written in Sanskrit and Prakrit have been translated into various languages and used by the world. The Ayodhya Kanto of Ramayana is told by Kamban from Tamil to English, Chemmin from Malayalam to English and several Eastern European languages Kavitavali by Tulsidas into English, Godan by Prem Chand into English, Garambika Bapu by SN Pense into English, and Pathir Panchali by Bibhuti Boshan Bandhopadhyay into French, to name a few. Books like Mahabharata, Ramayana, Sushruta Samhita, and even Panchatantra tales originate in India. When we 
talk about schooling in India, the first thing that comes to mind is how it has changed. But the changes made during the education revolution in India have helped create a firm education system. The Indian education system focuses on a strong base and good moral values. Character development and social skills have been woven into the child's education. In India, schooling starts with the ABCs at the tender age of 4. We learn the basics until we turn 6. Then starts primary school. Everything that we learn later depends on our understanding of what we learn at this stage. We have secondary or middle school and then comes high school where our life gets highly competitive. As we reach the 10th grade, all we can talk about are our board exams. What does board exam mean? In India, board examinations refer to the public examinations conducted at the end of the 10th grade and at the end of 12th grade. This was what used to happen before NEP, National Education Policy, was introduced. Now the boards of 10th have been taken out and only in 12th we write them. India also has prestigious colleges and universities. Indian institutes have a reputed name and are very difficult to get into. The entrance examinations are tough to crack because of the talent pool. Institutes like IIM and IITs have a devoted faculty and spacious campuses. There are many Indians who have not only studied here, but have also started their own very successful businesses. Taking an example of Narayan Murthy Synfosis, it is now the 602nd largest public company in the world. Or we could talk about an Indian who is widely known, the CEO of Google, Mr. Sundar Pichai. But I assume everybody already knows about him. But did you know that he studied in Chennai's Jawahar Vidyalaya Senior Secondary School right here in India? There have been many people who studied in India and have achieved great milestones. My point is, Indian education cannot be considered any less than education abroad and children our age need to know this. When everyone wants to go to the US or Europe to study and settle, it is important to teach kids the importance of Indian education and its development and that is happening slowly but surely. Needless to say, Indian education is a vast topic that I have tried to cover and I hope it was worth all of your time. I want to thank my teacher for giving me this opportunity and my country for giving me this life. I am Avni of 8th grade of Silicon City Academy of Secondary Education, Bangalore and I want to thank you all for listening to me.